I've always been looking for ways to help people and kind of level the playing field for those in need. My name is Christopher Matthew, and I'm a rebel with a cause. I run a barber shop called Dillinger's Barber Suite here in Garden City, New York, and I also have an intellectual property law practice. Two years ago, I started the Groom Project. Groom stands for Giving Remains Our Only Mission. On my free days or days that I take off from my law practice or the barbershop, I go to the shelter, um, one in particular in the Lower East Side, and a couple of other volunteer barbers will come with me and we'll just provide haircuts for as many men that want them. What are we gonna do for you today? Can you get touched up? Every individual has their own character, but deep down inside we have something in common as far as to share, um, you know, our passion with barbering and also what we can contribute to others that's in need. We see eye to eye on, on the same things as far as to giving back to the communities. I think your relationship with your barber is uh, a special one. It's somebody that you get to see every week or two weeks or three weeks and you kind of have this growing relationship where you update each other on what's going on in your lives and you kind of just get that time to relax and decompress. And I think it's the same for these guys in the shelter. You know, day to day they're dealing with caseworkers or they're dealing with trying to take whatever job they can take. And then you show up and you give them a little bit of a sense of normalcy, give them a barbershop setting where they all get to tell jokes or tell a little bit of their story or talk about the game last night. That's what's really great about going to these places and having this kind of setup. You're giving them that confidence, that the second chance, that they feel more of like a person. You know, I've been in rough, rough times myself. I'm, I'm sure everyone has. And um, just a little bit can be a lot. One guy in particular recently told me that when he walks outside of the shelter with a fresh new haircut, nobody knows where he came from. Nobody knows where he goes home at night. They just see a guy in the street with a nice haircut going about his day. I hope to inspire people to take a look at whatever talent, whatever passion they have, and hopefully figure out a way that they can use that to make somebody else's day or life better, no matter how big or small that talent is. Mm -hmm.